How can Allah's word enter into creation? It's just recorded, man. It's recorded. So, so is that Allah's right? word? Prophet Muhammad has is it divine? Yes. Is it in creation? Allah just gave a message to Muhammad, and that's that's that the message he he received the revelations. That's just written. I, I'll warn you now. You're dangerously close to becoming Mutasilites. They they believe that the Quran was created. My question to you is: Is how can an angel? take the eternal and infinite into themselves to bring it to Muhammad. Because this is a miracle. That's what miracles are. Right, brilliant. Yes. If God, by a miraculous act, becomes a man, there's no problem. And we both agree that the uncreated can't be destroyed. And we both agree that the created can. You have the same concept no, in your religion. No, 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 no. Yeah. The concept of three. Yeah. But well, I have some fundamental questions. Obviously, and I, I, I can't debate on this because I have. And I'm happy. To, I'm happy to answer your questions. Yeah, I don't have enough knowledge of Christianity. That's totally fine. I, I, I can say I have knowledge of Islam, but not not Christianity. Yeah. To me, so, so, what, what I know today. Yeah. What's the biggest reason for the conflict is? We we consider Jesus as a Isa as our prophet. Yeah. Same as messenger. Prophet yeah. Prophet. yeah. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad is not our God. Yeah. No, we consider him as a messenger. Yeah. And in the Quran, we have been repeatedly told yep. that Allah doesn't have kids. He doesn't have father. He doesn't yep. have yep. kids. Yep. He doesn't have any. He doesn't, he doesn't have any. So, so allow me, allow me, you know? allow me to answer the. Allow, allow me, allow me to answer the. Allow me to answer the, answer the, allow me to answer the question that you asked. No, no, no. One second, because you asked me a question. Then we stop for the battery. Now I'm going to answer the question that you asked. So how can three be one and one be three? Essentially, is the question. Right. So right now we're standing in three-dimensional space. We have the x-axis, we have the y-axis, and we have the z-axis. We can distinguish between those three axes, but we recognize that we are experiencing one reality. Every axis has all the attributes of the other axis, in the sense that they are an axis of space, but they are distinguishable axes from one another. Now, if you can accept that here we have three axes that are the same reality, then you can see how three can be one and one can be three. Because God, who is one and only one in his divinity, that thing that makes him God, that thing that makes him God is totally within the Father, within the Son and within the Holy Spirit, not divided, not separated, not stuck together as parts, not in, not not 50% here and 50% there and 50% there. That's not even good maths. It's 33%, 33%, 33%. Continuous. It it is totally 100% within the Father, 100% within the Son, 100% within the Holy Spirit, and it is exactly the same thing. But then, aren't aren't three, all three of them God? They are all three God. Exactly. You got it. Can I ask you something? Is there a concept of hierarchy in your? In, in these I just things? said there's one Sorry, God, and they're all God. Correct. Is there a concept of hierarchy in these three? So, like for us, if you if you consider a father, what we would be the God, right? Yeah. So that's the supreme authority. Yeah. Like, and the, and the Prophet Muhammad, he's under under him. Yeah. So we can't worship Muhammad. Yeah. So there's a concept of hierarchy here, you know? Yeah. Angels, if you, if you consider the spirits, I, I don't know if. Yep. If yep. I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah. 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 But angels, they're yep. created by God. Yeah. Muhammad is created by God. We are created by God. Yeah. So there's a concept of hierarchy. Here. Yes. What you are saying, what I'm, I can I can understand. There's no hierarchy here. Yes. Correct. So do they do three? These three add up to the concept of God. So they don't add up. This is this thing I want you to so remove from Jesus your. Jesus is not above God. If you want, God is not above exactly. Jesus, if you exactly, if you want to understand, if you want to understand the Christian concept of God, yeah. then you must remove crude sort of mathematical analogies of one plus one plus one equals three, right? That that's silly Islamic dawah rubbish, right? If you want a more accurate mathematical analogy. It would be infinity plus infinity plus infinity equals. There you go. So that would be a more accurate mathematical statement about what we believe. Yeah. No, that's that's where that's where the main difference comes in because that's that's not the what, what said in the. No, exactly. What does? That's, that's where that's where Muslims yeah. don't understand Christians. Yes, that's, correct. That's not the concept taught in the Quran. That's correct. Not the concept given by any other prophets. Correct. And more so, so my, my yeah. criticism of you, and, and this is one of the reasons that I would offer you in all sincerity as a reason why you should reject Islam, is because your Quran 
Now, earlier in our conversation, I said to you, I believe in one God. Would it be wrong for someone to come to me and say, I believe in three gods? And like rational human beings, you said, no, of course, that would be wrong because you clearly stated yes, you believe in one God. Stayed, it's, it's wrong. Exactly. I, but, I, but, but, I'm hold on. The, I'm does, what, you, does, what does the Quran yeah, say? It says, it says, it's the Quran says yeah. to the Christians and the Jews, to the Christians, and say not three for Allah is one God. So it's saying that the three are three gods. And then in another verse in the Quran, it says, to G G Allah speaks to Jesus and he says, did I tell you to tell the people to take you and your mother as gods beside Allah? So the Quran's understanding of the Trinity is that there are three gods, Allah, Jesus, and Mary. The Quran has got the Trinity wrong. Now, does the Quran state that if the Quran was from any other than Allah, people would find errors therein? Hmm. It does state yeah, that. Yeah. So if I've pointed to you a clear black and white no, 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 error no, no, in the that's, Quran. That's, your, that's, that's what you're saying. People so don't how, would you how, how would you like to reply to that? How would you like to reply to that? Okay, how would you like to reply well, to it then? I Why might, am I wrong? Wait, I might not be able to reply to that now. But do you come here every week? I come here most weeks, yeah. What's, what, do you have a YouTube channel or something? Yep, yeah, it's called Bob the Builder. Sorry, Bob of Speaker's Corner. Bob of Bob Speaker's Corner. <laughs> I, I, I'm known here as Bob the Builder. Okay. Yeah. Gibran, can you, can you pick up his uh, YouTube channel? Yeah, on, Bob, on, Bob, if you look for it, send me I'll, I'll, I'll point it out to you right now. So, so my point... I, because I do want to do research on this. You know? I, I that's fine. You do. And you, you seem Bob? like a really nice guy. What do you say, Bob? Bob of Speaker's Corner. Bob, on Speaker's Bob Corner. of Speaker's Corner. Okay, and if you scroll down, because YouTube always puts us a bit further down, you're looking for a red symbol, a red and black symbol. Keep going, keep going, slowly. Sl there you go, that's the one. Right, so subscribe to that channel. And this video, if you want to watch it, is called Soko Films. Right, but my point to you is, I would argue that your Quran has a blatant error in it. And for that reason, lots of Muslims mischaracterize and misdescribe what Christians believe. Be honest with me, how many times have you heard other Muslims say that Christians believe in three gods? Be honest. I've, I've, I've never, I've not, I've I, not heard. That's the thing, I still do not understand your definition of three to one. But yes, I've heard in general, yep. not just Muslims, yep. I've heard this in general, about the Holy Trinity. And I, well, I have, I could say I have, multiple Christian friends who don't understand it themselves. Yeah, which not why, understanding. Which is why today they're atheists, they don't believe One second, in not understanding yeah. is not the same yeah. as as yeah. as a considered I, I understanding. Don't understand one thing as well. There are lots of Muslims that don't understand yeah. Islam. Yeah. They and they've left yeah, Islam because yeah, of their yes, misunderstanding. Yes, 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 100%. Okay, well, and this is like, I'm not actually debating, I'm just yeah. asking. Or Let's stay to the topic it. of God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, when you say that, I, I just have a question. Yes. Right? So, did Jesus die? Just, just, just to question. Yes, he did. He did. Can God die? The divinity doesn't die, no. But you said that there's God inside Jesus. Great. So, the, the thing that you're missing in that equation... So that the man died, you God you're, inside you're, you're, you've, 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 you've asked a question, okay, allow me okay, to answer. Okay. So, so, Christians believe in what's called the hypostatic union, the idea that Jesus Christ was fully God and fully man. The councils of the church are very clear, the divinity does not die. The Gospels and the writings in the New Testament are very clear. You'll hear this phrase again. Christ died in the flesh. Mm. Christ suffered in the flesh. Mm. So it was his humanity that died. The person of Jesus Christ died in his humanity. Christians don't say that the divinity of Christ died because it can't die. Didn't pass out of existence. It didn't cease to exist. It was always there. It's like if I get a, two rods, one of wood and one of iron, and I tie them together by a string, and I chuck them into the water, the wood floats and the iron sinks beneath. But they're joined together. And that is our, that's a, a, an under, a way to understand the idea of if Christ is both fully God and fully man, how can he die if he's divine? It's the same way that wood floats that's across the water, but iron sinks underneath it. Okay, that's, that's, that's what you guys believe. That's what we believe. So did you, did you hear me very clearly? I did not say God died. And, okay, and Jesus, Jesus was a man as well, right? Jesus was fully man and Jesus was fully God. So that's what we believe. At, at Jesus' time, when he was alive? Yeah. 
he had God in, 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 in himself. So it's not that it's there's a man who then gets possessed by God. He it's was not like that. As God. He was fully God and fully man at the same time. Well, These things were joined he, together like so my call, hands was, was are pressed together. Is Jesus the, that man? Or is Jesus, the word Jesus, when you say yeah, Jesus? Is Jesus yes. that man you, or that God? Are you referring so, to that man or yeah. that God? So let me answer that question. Because what you're trying to do, what, not what you're trying to do, no, 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 brother, what you're trying to do is you're setting up a, a dichotomy I don't accept. You're trying to say that. I'm just trying to understand. And I'm right? trying I'm to not explain. Here I, I know, know I know, bro. It. I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, in your question, the, the way you phrase the question has a false dichotomy that as a Christian, I reject completely. So in other words, I'm saying the question is wrong. How would you phrase it? So I would say that Jesus Christ, the person, is fully God and fully man. It's not that Jesus Christ, the person, is either the man or either the God. He is Jesus Christ, the person, is the man, is the God. And was he born? And he was born that way. So God was born? Yes, the Son was born via humanity. So before Jesus was born, did God exist? That doesn't make sense. So, yes, he did, of course, because God doesn't have a beginning. So we believe as Christians. So only that fully man born. So the, the so literally so literally I'm going to explain it to you. The the divine the son. Brother brother it's okay. It's brother it's okay. We're having a nice conversation. So it's kind of like let me explain it using my fists, right? So you have this divinity. It is without beginning and without end, and that divinity takes to itself a humanity and joins itself to that humanity. The humanity is created. The humanity has a beginning. The humanity wasn't there. Literally, Jesus Christ created his mother and then created his own body and then joined that body to himself. That's what we believe. It's not that the big divinity had a beginning. And that body died. And that body died. Yeah. It, 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 science, science can't answer questions on miracles, but sir, we're having a certain kind of conversation on a certain kind of topic. Okay, okay, I, I, well, okay, that's what. But now said. let me now me flip it round at you, because as a Muslim, you believe that the Quran is the word of Allah, don't you? Hundred percent. Hundred percent, right? But here it is in form, in letters, on paper, in the recitation. So you, the divine has entered into creation. If I burn a Quran, have I destroyed the word of Allah? But if I burn a Quran, have I burnt a book called the Quran with the Quran inside it? Well, you've disrespected the book, yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I've disrespected it. But yes. answer my question, because that wasn't my question. What you speaking? So what my you question right was, my actual question I'm was. Question. I'm, I'm one second. No, I'm sorry. Please. Excuse me. I'm talking to him. Stop being rude. So I'm listening to you. I'm as asking well. a question, he sir. He so I'm so giving you the answer. my question was. What you are speaking? My question was. Calm down. Stop getting irate. So my question is, if I get a Quran, if I get a Quran and I burn it, have I destroyed? The word of Allah. No. No. But have I destroyed a book called the Quran that has the words of Allah on it? Yes. So do you see? You have the same concept no, in your religion. No, no, no. That does not you have the sense. same concept. How is it different? How is it different? How is it different? A living human being. No, no, no. Is it divine? Is it divine? What? The Quran. Quran has a divine message inside it's, it's it. Yes. Got a divine right. Message. Yes. Itself is just a book. So, yes. so, so my point is, this Quran that I've burned. Quran is the word of Allah. Not, the the not Quran. A, not a man. When you, who got when killed and who was born. When you venerate, like, I don't know why he's calm you. down, guys. No. Calm down. Yeah. What I'm pointing out to you is, you've got exactly the same understanding yeah. that you can destroy a book called the Quran. But I can't understand why are you comparing a man with the book? And with the book why, why aren't you comparing the man? No, you're missing the analogy. No, you're missing the analogy. You're missing the analogy. We believe that you're missing the analogy. You're missing the analogy, and I'll explain why. I'll explain why. The analogy that you're missing is that I'm comparing the indestructibility of that which is divine to the destructibility of that which is material. Christ's humanity was material. Christ's humanity could de be destroyed, but, what are you but Christ's divinity could not be destroyed. Can a book be something worldly? It's a book with a man. Man is something worldly, which has a. Has a, has a the has human a nature was created. Both book is like it, it's been created and it, it won't last forever. Just like the humanity was created. He's just comparing the physical things. 
So it's but the no. I'm, I'm comparing. I, I, I I'm comparing. Yeah. No, no, no. You've yeah. misunderstood. Let me state clearly. I'm the comparing the created in both our religions to the uncreated in both our religions. That's the comparison I'm making. And we both agree that the uncreated can't be destroyed. And we both agree that the created can. So what I'm saying to you, just like with every other die stupid argument, it's based upon a conceited ignorance of what Christians are saying. Okay, then you literally have the same you, thing in you your religion. This, if, 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 okay, if you use this comparison, firstly, I don't agree to it. Secondly, okay, I respect you. So, do we have, like, if, if since you are comparing Jesus, the, the man, right? The created with to the, the created, with, with, the uncreated to the uncreated. You can't feed words into my mouth, right? Yeah, but that's the analogy I'm using. If, if I'm not feeding words into your mouth, you can't feed them into mine, right? So, you're comparing the man, right? The created? The, the created man, yeah. The, the man who created himself. Right. Yeah, the, 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 the created humanity to the created material of the Quran. Okay, yeah, all right. Good. So, the Quran, right? We can make 2,000, 2 lakh or like 2 crore copies of the yep. Quran. Yep. Can you make 2 crore copies of Jesus? So, the, the logic is, the, 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 your question, your question is based... Since you're comparing these two things, that's why I'm yeah. saying. Your question is a false logic. Oh, because and yours is not. No, no, no. My, my logic is sound. Your, your, your question is based on a false logic. I want to explain why, because I can see you're incredulous to my statement. The reason why your question is based on a false logic is because the number of productions is irrelevant to the analogy that I'm making. It doesn't matter how many times that, that something is created. The fact, is, the fact is we're create, comparing. Those two things are not comparable. The, did I, I, I didn't interrupt you. The fact is we're comparing created to created and uncreated to uncreated. I, I understand. I understand now explain to me, explain to me, how can Allah's word enter into creation? It's just recorded, man. It's recorded. That's so is that Allah's right? word? Prophet Muhammad has Is it divine? Yes. Is it in creation? Well, again, what do you mean by creation? If I, I do not, I cannot understand how you are relating. Okay, you're saying every, well, everything is a creation, right? But... You, create, you, you are comparing a book, burning a book, with killing or the death of a person. Yes. Right? In my, in my, according to my logic, that's a logical fallacy. That's an extremely wrong comparison. You are comparing a non-living book, right? Yep. A non-living book with a human who can breathe, who, can, who, who has a yep. brain, yep. who has a heart, yep. who can eat, who can drink, who can excrete. Who will grow old? Who can have kids? Yep. You get my point. Yep. And who was born? Yep. Right. But this book was created by. The reality is the analogy that I made was about something created because we Christians believe the humanity of Christ was created with something created, the material paper that the Quran is written upon. And I said that I compared the divinity of the divine logos. Jesus Christ's divine nature to the divinity of the words that you find on the Quranic pages and we all agree we all agree we're in a total agreement I that if I one second that if I burn the Quran I can't destroy the word of Allah hmm. and that if Christ was crucified on the cross his divinity does not I perish the concept you're explaining, but the only problem with this comparison is you believe that the, in that body yeah in Jesus body yes there was God yes in the Quran, there's not God. It's yeah. God's word. It's just yeah. a message from God. Although was, was those words divine? They are divine. They're divine message divine of because they're are they divine eternal? Source. Are they eternal? They are formed from a device. Are yes. they eternal? Yes. Are they uncreated? What do you mean by uncreated? As in they don't have a beginning. Well, they were revealed upon the prophet. Big, big so Allah creates His word. He creates the Quran. Allah just gave a message to Muhammad, and that's that's that the message he he received the revelations. That's just written. I, I'll warn you now: you're dangerously close to becoming Mutasilites. They they believe that the Quran was created. But that, oh, no, 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 but, no, no, but no. the Muslims, Orthodox Sunni Islam says that the Quran know, was not created. I don't know your that's definition of the word created. See, see the As in, it had a beginning. That's what began, it had a beginning. If you say reveal, I would agree. The, the, so, what, was so what I'm saying, the thing is, I'm giving, he, he is a professional debater. I'm giving you a definition. We're not. I'm going to give you a definition of created. He knows how to trap you. I'm going to give you a definition of created. And maybe we can all agree upon it. Something that is created is something that is made out of nothing by the command of God. He says, be, and it becomes. That is something created. 
Can we all agree that that's the definition of created? Okay, come again. So the, the definition the of creation, created. created, is something that God creates by the power of his word from nothing. He simply says to it, be, and it is. Can we agree that that is the definition of created? Like the world was created. Yeah, like the world was created. Like you and me are created. Like the paper that the Quran is written on yeah. is created. Like and, the, and the, the voice that when you voice, recite the Quran is created. Like, like the sound that you hear when you hear so the recitation. You never said that the words were created. Yeah. Quran no. is not I, words I said the real. voice. Voice I didn't say the words, I said the voice. You're not, you're not, you see, right? now you're written. misspeaking. It's written. There's no voice. There's no. Just written something when you go to the mosque and the, the Imam recites the Quran, you're hearing it. The voice is created. And the sound that you hear in your ears is created by the Imam. By Allah. Allah yeah. is the one who creates. The yeah. Imam can create nothing. Yeah. Right? Okay. See, I'm, I'm doing you a favor, guys. I'm educating you about Islam here. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're, you're actually confusing more. But no, Islam is confusing. You, no, he is a no, person. Islam, Islam is confusing. This is his job. It's not confusing, it's, it's, confusing. Job. it's just your skills I'm yeah. debating. Yeah. Yeah. Are, you, are you giving me an A star for my skills yeah. in debating? No, you, and he will trap us, man. You're giving we, you an A star in debate. Like, a layman will always get trapped by a debater, exactly. which is yeah. pretty I, normal. If Hijab or Ahmed Didad or Sheikh, I don't know if you know about Sheikh Usman ibn Farooq. They all run away from me, you, you know, except for Ibn Farooq because he's not come to the, the UK yet. The in the Quran, the yeah. words that was revealed. <laughs> I hope he comes, That man. was revealed by Allah does. to Muhammad. Yes. It's not created. Can you explain to me how the angel Gabriel managed to transport the eternal uncreated word of Allah? Was it, for instance, let me, under, let me pad out my analogy. Was it a photostatic carbon copy that the angel Gabriel brought to Muhammad or was it actually the real words of Allah? It was the words of Allah. That, message of Allah. That, yeah. It was a message of Allah yeah. that Allah sent, gave to Jibreel to go and deliver to Muhammad. You know? So it wasn't a so, photocopy. So and and the and the main the main belief of ours is yeah. the Quran is itself a big miracle. Yeah. From the from the Biggest point miracle. where Biggest when miracle. Allah they gave this message to Jibreel to the point where we have it in our hands today. Yeah. That's that's whole America, and it never changed. Yeah, we don't have testimonies. Because okay. we don't have was, different he, editions. He wasn't, he wasn't literate. Yeah. Okay, so he wasn't literate. Okay, he didn't know how uh, to I, I, I understand. But I understand. he delivered all this Quran. So, so my point, my question, the, my, the point that I'm getting at, and I don't want to get onto a sidetrack about the different versions of the Quran. Yeah. Like I, I don't want to get into that because there are, oh. but I don't want to get into it. Well, but if my, you talk about the Qiraat, that's but, but there are different yeah. versions of the Quran, exactly. So my, my point to you is, <laughs> no, 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 one second, Arabic is guys, same. guys, the guys, the stay, on, is stay on topic, stay on topic. Yeah. My question to you is, is how can an angel take the eternal and infinite into if themselves to bring it to Muhammad? There's no logic here. There's no logic? There is, no, because this is a miracle. That's what miracles are. Right, you brilliant. Fantastic. Fantastic. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Because yeah. we totally agree. It's so, so the thing is, if God, miracle, right? if God, if God, if God, one second. In the so, if God, by a miraculous act, becomes a man, there's no problem. We believe in miracles. We Great. Just, but you can't expect us to believe. So, in all those Muslims that, that are well, condemning can, well, the idea of the incarnation according to are con are, are, must stop because they are, you're appealing to the idea of a miracle that an angel could literally somehow take the infinite into his mind and then take it to Muhammad, right? The infinite eternal word of Allah was absorbed the best of all by an angel. Yeah, 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 fine, that's fine. I'm happy to accept and, that. And that prophet... I'm happy was, to accept that. Was, it's called Ramadan for the sake, for the sake the of the argument. All the, all the for the sake of the argument, I'll give you both of those claims. I won't even yeah. dispute them. For the sake of the argument. Yeah, yeah. But my point to you is, if the created being of the angel Gabriel can literally take from Allah his eternal word and transport it to Muhammad, and then Muhammad can receive directly the eternal, uncreated, infinite word of Allah from the angel Gabriel and then give it to the scribes, then you have no argument about the idea of God but entering into that, a human, but human we never, nature. We never said that God got entered no into argument. Prophet Muhammad. I mean, you know what you're saying? According to your analogy, this camera right here, right? This can turn into God. And you know this... Uh, that, doesn't know, that doesn't this follow. Leave right here that doesn't follow. God because God can go inside That doesn't anything. follow. 
That doesn't right. follow because that you, is not what we believe. According to no, my, we don't believe that. To my understanding, you your understanding is God, wrong. You no, your God. understanding is wrong. Why would God come inside we a don't human? believe God, that. God doesn't have we to don't have believe that. We don't believe that. God cannot go inside a human or a Your entire argument is fallacious and wrong. So is yours. Now, now, do you see how interrupting is not a helpful way to conduct a conversation? You didn't like when I was interrupting you, right? Yeah. Right, so don't interrupt me. Let's have a conversation. So my point to you is your, your criticism is a fallacious one because Christians don't believe that God created a human being and then possessed it. We're saying that he took to him he took the internal, uncreated, divine nature, he created a human nature and brought it to himself. They weren't confused. So he came to the earth in form of a human. Listen to what That's my what you mean? yeah. Listen to my next statements because they're really important. They were not confused. They were not mingled. They were not changed, which is what you've just said. We're not saying that the divinity changed to become a human being. We're not saying that. We're not saying that the divinity was mixed like you'd make a cake paste with a human nature. We're not saying that. We're not saying that it was confused or mingled or, or, or changed. What we're saying is that they were joined without separation for the blinking of an eye. And then they separated again? No, no, no. The, 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 divinity, the divinity passed over death like a wooden plank passes over water. And then where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah. Where, it's still everywhere, bro. It's How? the divine nature. How? Do you think that God is limited? I'm asking you a question. And I'm, I'm telling you, God is not limited. How is that divinity still here? Because is it in this? So 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 let me answer that question. It's a fair question. I want to give you a fair answer. Yeah. Neither Muslims nor Christians believe that death is the end of existence. Yeah. You believe in the punishment of the grave. Yeah, yeah this right. worldly existence. Both, both right. Worldly. right. So yeah. we don't neither of us believe that death is the end of existence. Worldly. The question, the question that you're asking assumes some kind of destruction, that God ceases in some way to exist. Christians flat out deny that. We don't believe that in any way. The divinity existed before the crucifixion and the divinity existed after the crucifixion. It was the humanity that was subject to death. It was the humanity that entered into death. Like the wood, like the iron rod enters into water. The divinity just passed over death unaffected by it. That's what we believe. Okay, that's what you believe. Exactly. That's what we believe as Christians. Like, I think, I think let's be honest, like, to this day, say? I've never believed that Christians believe in more than one God. Good for you. I appreciate that. And like, I've, I haven't, I know most of the Muslims don't believe that Christians believe in more than one God. That not, not, no, 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 not the Muslims I've met. God has a son. That's, that's where the difference yeah. comes. Yeah. That in Quran, we had, it, it's in Surah class, it's just clearly yeah. said that the God doesn't beget, nor is he, nor is he begotten. Yeah. So he doesn't father any children. Or nor, nor, it, nor does he have any father. Do you understand that we Christians, when we say begotten, begotten, the, the Greek word is monogenes. Yeah. Right? That, that's the Greek. Mm -hmm. And it could be translated as unique. Mm -hmm. Unique. So the word begotten doesn't mean that he fathered someone sexually. That's just another error inside the Quran. Christians don't believe that. We don't. We don't believe, you can't we don't believe, error. we don't know the Quran, but that's the point. Interpretation error. It is an error. The Quran is literally wrong. <laughs> literally wrong. <laughs> See, you, you, you are All being, this time, yeah. you never said that Bible yeah. is wrong. I never you know? said that Bible. Do you believe the Bible is changed? Yeah. Do you believe that's wrong? Well, the Bible has changed. Anything that changes is wrong. So you do are saying it. You are saying the same thing. You are saying the same thing. You are saying the same thing. Okay, you know what, you know what, let's stop here because yeah. the thing is that obviously we, we, we're not debaters, right? And this guy is a debater, right? Yeah, and true. he will always trap us until and no, unless like, we go out and we learn and we, you know, we become debaters as well. Do I get a gold star for my debate tactics? No, 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 this is my... <laughs> you, you yeah, with the Do I get a gold star for my with debate tactics? Yes. Can I ask you what's your profession? Tactics. What? My profession? Yeah. I work for the church. You work for the church, right? Yeah. I'm a mechanical engineer. Wonderful. Right? So obviously, if, if we talk about engineering over here... You're going to stomp me. You, you, you'll give me an A-star. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's the thing, because this is like your job, yeah. isn't it? It's your job. It's your... Part-time. Your way of life. I'm only part-time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the covenant support? I want to go full-time, like Ali Dawa. Hey, Leon.
Yeah, anyway, okay. look, yeah, I've had such a real pleasure talking, talking to you. I always give a gift to every nice you know person what? I spoke to. Uh, have you got a I'd like have you got a Bible, a gospel? You know what? You know what? I, I want to give you your own gift. No, no, you know what, yeah. Bob, what I'll do is yeah. what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this. Yeah. The thing is that I don't live in London. I this live, is yours. I live, I live up in Manchester. This right? is yours, it's your gift. Carrying this would wouldn't be like, I, because I respect every book, every religious book. It's right? fine. Stick I wouldn't it in your bag. You'll be able to stick it in my bag. My bag, just look at my bag. You'll be fine. Just look at my You'll be fine. There's and space. He's got space in the top. I feel <laughs> look at look. Look at, go turn to the camera. Look, look at the flex in that bag. He's got space to stick it in. He's got space. Look, this is my gift to you. You do with it what you want. Okay. Right. This is my gift to you. You do with it what Are you these want. The same? What is this? this? This is the Bible. This is the New Testament. So basically, this is Can just. You explain me the difference. Yeah, of course. So the Bible. The thing, this is the last thing. And this is the last thing. I'm not arguing anything. Okay, this I don't is, know anything about it. That's fine. It. So this, this is the Bible. It contains uh, the the canon of 66 books. This is just the New Testament. It contains a canon of 27 books. So that's the difference. This is new covenant literature. So this is about Jesus and the apostles. Yeah. This is new and old covenant literature. So this is, includes so about like this, the prophets. This, and this. Just like the this sorry, yes, this includes this. It was lovely talking to right, you, man, a real you. pleasure. You, you, so look you. You, so you look after yourself. You look after yourself. Nice to speak to you as well. Thank God bless. So, Leon, I want to give you a giant hug, bro. It's great to see you. Oh, content! Content over everything. Yeah. The second best channel in Speaker's <laughs> Corner. Yeah. So, so what we had here yeah. is a Muslim, two, two Muslims who were, were talking about veneration. The veneration that Muslims perform to the Kaaba house and to the Black Rock in Mecca. Yeah. And we demonstrated that Muslims unfairly condemn Christians for our veneration of the cross. Like their famous poet Ibn Qayyib, who condemned Christians as cross worshippers. And this is a celebrated piece of poetry amongst Muslims across the Arab world. And they literally condemn Christians for something that they do themselves. And when tested, what we saw is that they have absolutely no reason to justify condemning us for doing something that they do when we do it for exactly the same reasons that they do it. No reason at all. And so what we've exposed is those that are criticizing the Christian faith are doing so from a conceited, ignorant position. And you should simply stop if you want to be intellectually consistent. Second point, we got into a discussion about our belief in God. And as always, Muslims formulated their criticism about our belief in God based upon their misunderstanding of the doctrine of the Incarnation. If Jesus is God, how could he be born? If Jesus is God, how could he die? Not understanding that we Christians don't say that the divinity was born or created or died. In the same way that if Uthman was to burn all the variant copies of the Quran, Muslims don't say that Uthman has destroyed the Quran. He's destroyed the paper that the Quran is written on, the ink that the Quran was written with. So the created is destroyed, but the uncreated continues. In the same way, we Christians believe that the divinity of Christ was not created by the birth of Jesus and did not cease to exist at the death of Jesus. Right, so. These things are related to his humanity. Yeah. And if you can have it in your Quran, yeah. this eternal, uncreated word that I can toss around yeah. in a book and chuck on the floor <laughs> by the will of Allah, right. but I'm not affecting the eternal word of the Quran, yeah. then we can have exactly the same thing about the divinity of Jesus. Right, now I've got to give this beautiful man a big hug. Come here, bro. Good to see you. Yeah, we're getting a hug. Good to see you. How are you, man? Right.